Hello, I'm Aquaman Knox, and today we're going to go over the controller for the Blue Series pump, Platinum Pumps. Um, just as promised, we'll go through everything so you don't have to on the instructions and show you how it works. All the Blue Series pumps um, come with the same controller and have the same function. To simplify things, they have a feed mode, they have an up and down flow mode, and then they have a wave slash control mode. And each of those modes can actually be uh, programmed. We're going to go through that step by step, following the instructions to show you what it looks like on the screen with an overhead shot. Okay, here we go with the controller. First of all, we've got this set up. You can probably hear water noise. I know that's not ideal and you all may not do that, but this whole purpose of this is to show you flow. So we're not going to tweak in the valve on the Eclipse drain. We're not doing any of this video for noise. We intentionally would like for you to hear the noise and to see the flow. So you'll be able to see that in the video and we'll start right away. First of all, on the display, when you first turn it on, here's what you need to know. This is the function screen. It's the function display. The uh, mode setting slash toggle key is your M. Feed is F for feed mode, and plus and minus are just as they seem for up and down flow. When you first turn the pump on, it'll be in the steady mode one. Number one is indication that it is your mode one flow. And when you hit the mode button, you will get mode two. This is your wave mode, okay? So it means pulse wave making mode. And then if you try and put the M again, three, that is your uh, nutrition mode or feed mode, as we call it. So mode one, when it first comes on, and the one lets you know that indication, it'll come on at the full speed, which is 20. From there, and you can see the flow in the aquarium, you can adjust it down. Minus 19, 18. You can hear the noise go down because our flow is going down and you can see it. Now, important thing to know when you're sending the flow up or down, the lower the flow, the less wattage on the pump. So a lot of people go, why do I want to even turn the pump down? There's two reasons you turn the pump down. You can hear that noise. That's because our ball valve is set certain. So you turn the pump down to match your drain valve flow. Plus you can buy a bigger pump for a smaller aquarium, not have the electrical consumption in heat, and just cater it to exactly what you want. So now we're gonna go back up to the full flow. Okay, so that's mode one. After you have mode one, which is up and down, then you're gonna be interested in mode two. What you have to do first is in your mode one setting, you will set this up to 15. I went all the way down to two, which is the slowest number, which will give us the biggest variance when we go to mode two. That'll be clear in a moment. So once you get to mode two, you have 20 different settings you can set it to. Remember, it's gonna pulse between what the first setting was in mode one to this. So right here, this is the most extreme on 20, you can see the dial and you can see the flow. We're gonna go all the way down and all the way back up for a full pulse. And then you can change those buttons to get anything in between. Now we go to mode three. This is a nutrition transmission mode and it's different frequency ranges. So you have a wider separation or between the different crests of the pump, the high and the flow of the pump. When that's useful on recirculation of the pump, feeding corals, that's when you can get the most response out of the coral uh, tentacles, polyps, and be able to uh, feed them. So that's what this is for. And it works just like mode, mode two. one. You go to mode one, you set your initial, which we've already done. We've got it set to two. Then you go to mode three, and you can go up and down changing those frequency crests. So there's one. We'll go all the way up from one quickly to 20 to show you the difference. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go up 
and then slower back down or slower back up. You can watch the, the, the dials where the other one is going all the way to the, the end, back to the beginning, all the way to the end, back to the beginning. This one is gonna go one tick at a time, up to the end, back to the beginning. And that's called mode three or the nutrition transmission mode. And then lastly, you have the feeding mode. What the feeding mode does is in feeding mode, the pump will go off for 10 minutes and then restart. <coughs> Hit the button again, it goes off for 20 minutes and restart. Hit the button again, it goes off for 30 minutes and then it restarts. It'll restart back to the normal operating setting you had it on. So if you had it in mode two and setting for some type of wave, it'll go back to that. If you had it in constant mode one, uh, then it will go back to that setting. And that's how the controller works. Okay, so that's the the Platinum Series controller, remember it's the same for all of their models. And be fo watch me, follow me on the channel, subscribe down below. Be looking for the Slim Wave by Platinum Pump controller. It's a little bit more complicated, but it does a lot more, and we're going to show that in another video. Have a great day.